What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. And today we're visiting the Macba. Not sure if you should visit the Macba on your next trip to Barcelona? In this video, we'll take a quick tour and help you answer that very question. Is it worth it? You've only got so much time in the city and you wanna be prepared. So here's what you need to know about Barcelona's Contemporary Art Museum. Since 1995, the Contemporary Art Museum of Barcelona, or MACBA as it's more commonly known, has strived to bring art to life by using contemporary art to forge the future. It's easy to find just off La Rambla in the Raval neighborhood and well connected by public transportation as it's only a few minutes walk from several metro stops, mainly Plaza Catalunya. Probably better known for its skate scene just out front, the MACBA offers a change of scenery amongst the older buildings in the area. The permanent collection houses over 5,000 pieces of work, and the museum offers constantly changing exhibits throughout the year. With admission set at 10 euros, it's easy on any budget. But if you're here on the weekend, remember that Saturday after 4 p.m., it's free. But if you're still not convinced, remember, it's what's on the inside that counts. One thing you're definitely going to want to do is download the free audio guide app to make the most out of your visit on the inside. Wi-Fi is available throughout the museum and if you don't forget to bring your headphones like I did, you can purchase some at the front desk for just 50 cents. At the time of filming, the Takis exhibit is only running for a few more days, so you might not be able to see it while you're here, but it gives you a good idea of what the museum offers. Takis is all about bringing art to life and not settling for being a spectator or a tourist, as he states. Magnetism, electricity, light, and even sound are all used to bring about this idea of energy that offers the illusion of action. Have a listen to this. A Short Century is part of the permanent Macba collection and it's probably my favorite. To be honest, I would come to the museum just for this. The exhibit narrates Barcelona's relationship with art, so it was really cool to see how some of the bigger and lesser known names were involved. Starting in 1929 and spanning the next 90 years, you're led through the decades as the art scene shifts through all sorts of different styles, moving through the Spanish Civil War, to pop art and revolution, into feminism and minimalism, the different experiences offered through art are explored. Inside the last room, there's a condensation cube, which due to its interior temperature being warmer than the room, is constantly changing and never the same. What we get in the action exhibit is a bit more extreme than the others. It's a response to what was happening in the 80s. They explain that there was a return to order and what happened in the 90s was a break from that. As a result, we get action art, where different uses of the body and all the artwork becomes important. Institutions are challenged, as is the way that we experience art. What I found most interesting were the different pieces that were done in Barcelona in those 90s. You can see a lot of pictures, you can even see a lot of videos that were shot in those 90s in Barcelona. Just got out of the last room and there is, it's an entire room of 180 transistor radios that are just on, making that noise of white noise. And there's a security guard in there. And I asked him, you know, like, what, are you just used to this now? And he's like, yeah, basically. But just imagine that all day. I thought that was hilarious. What's interesting about the building itself is they basically asked Meyer what he wanted to do right in here. And one of the things he wanted to do was kind of create this newer, modern building inside of these older buildings, where this really kind of opened up a lot of the space. And he said that the building itself was inspired by the medieval streets of the Gothic Quarter, where you have this kind of verticality and the light coming through those streets, through the buildings, the windows, even those balconies. One of the other things they have are some exhibits or some pieces of work on the outside. One of those is the mural directly behind me, which is by Keith Haring, which is originally painted just down in the lower part of the Raval, and they've actually moved it over here. 
And it's all about AIDS and working together. And what it says at the end is, todos juntos podemos parar el SIDA, which is all together we can stop AIDS. And the idea moving from left to right is that we were running away from it. We weren't talking about it. But if we all together stop closing ourselves off, open up our eyes, our ears, our mouths, and speak about it and really get it into existence, then we can, we can stop this together. One of the things I would recommend if you're interested in seeing the art museums in Barcelona is getting the art ticket. It's a passport that allows you to get into six different art museums for a reduced price. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. All in all, I thought it was a really cool museum and one that's definitely worth your time if you're here in Barcelona. Remember that all the exhibits are going to be changing constantly, so it depends on when you come. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment below and let me know if anything surprised you or if you plan on coming on your next trip to Barcelona. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.